What is going on guys today? We are looking at Zhao Mario. If you want cheap and reliable coins, go over to U7 Buy in the description. Look at all the coins, go to your purchase, and before you hit checkout, make sure you use the discount code JT11. Use the code and you should get 5% off all of your FIFA 23 coins. So in today's video, we've got a brand new road to the knockout that came out a little bit late. So we've got him done. 85 rated. He does go into the Portuguese objective, Benfica, and I believe believe Benfica are already through so the likely chance of them winning the next two games when I believe they're already through is again very unlikely because why would you try if you're already through so it'd be interesting to see he is going to help out massively with the Portuguese team which we're going to go into right now he actually isn't on footbin as the moment but I believe he is on footwiz so we should be able to see him there so let's just load up into the Portuguese team and just have a quick look at him then so in terms of chemistry style, I don't know if we've got a database for this. Um, we are looking for attacking chemistry midfielder defending. Okay, so let's get into the Portuguese team that we made. I don't know what it was called. Port. There we go. Nice and easy. And I believe we're, we're rocking center mid. So yoink, you can go and we can whack Jao Mario in here to give ourselves a debut into managerial masterpiece. Comes in as the 85. It's very nice indeed chemistry star wise so we've got a three star four star medium low right foot five ten solid player as the trait and to be honest looks pretty solid throughout i would say i'm very partial to going for a shadow with him let's have a quick look so we've got shadow i don't know is there running type here so it'll be controlled does architect turn him lengthy does anchor um what would turn him explosive so he can go explosive I don't think by the looks that he can go lengthy at all. So we've got free reign on the chemistry style. We want to keep him controlled. I personally would probably go more with an anchor, giving you 85 pace, 76 defending, and 77 physicals. We've already got a, a cracking amount of passing. Dribbling actually looks really nice. 5'10", so I can imagine a little bit agile on the ball. We've got a bit of long shots on him, so he might help for the outside of the box goal. So we'll have to give that a go. So let's whack that anchor on him, see what he's all about. Engine could be another one to go for, but I don't think we really need any more from there. So where, where is the engine? That'd give you 85 pace again, 91 dribbling, 90 passing. It, it's just the defending for me that that would, would be the partial bit that I really, really would like to have um, some more defending on him. Just because 71 in the midfield isn't incredible. But we have got the anchor now, so let's have a quick little look to show you. And then obviously at the end of the video, we'll show you on Footbin or Footwiz, whichever's got him. So again, nice stats throughout. Let's jump into him and see what he's all about. Right then, let's have a look with a bit of Jao Mario then. Like I said, I can imagine quite ag agile on the ball, I imagine. I don't... Oh, that's a solid ball already. Good save from the keeper. We pass it back out, managing to get it. Let's get the play on the go then. Jao Mario getting... Oh, against Eredivisie team. Of course we are. This is going to be the, the kind of less beneficial side because Gakpo, I can imagine for him, is 86. Plus then, obviously, as we see there, Savio... It's going to be a little bit of a grind. You will find more and more Portuguese teams. You won't just find Eredivisie. And hopefully we can get somebody who just has no thumbs. Because it's just hard enough as it is. We've got him looking in the middle though. Hello. A bit of, bit of Jao Mario in the middle. Passes it across. I am not expecting him, to be honest, to be more of a cam. I think box-to-box -box would suit him down to the ground, and that is why we've personally gone with the anchor, as I feel like that will be the best chem star to go for for that sort of position. Otherwise, we'd have probably gone more hunter or something in relation with attacking. I'm hoping he's going to just sit in that middle and really play that passing role for me. But this guy is on me like an absolute rash into him again. The passing game is all what he's about. We're looking for that through ball if we can. There it is. Straight into him. Got to go for the outside of the box. Sometimes it's just going to be an annoying one because obviously that outside of the box is not what the air of Izzy needs. So they already know that that's what you're going to be trying as well, especially because it's what within the three games. Maybe wait for a Portuguese team so you both know that you probably need to do that into Mario. Looking for the ball across. It's nice. Get it back to him. You've got to hit and hope. And Hanko is with a beautiful block there. Mario. Okay. Oh, it's stunning. The agility on him there. Can we go for the 1-2 with the striker? He knows we want to go there. 
back to Mario. First touch is beautiful. Little sidestep in. Goes for the shot. And Mario with some unreal play in the middle of that Eredivisie defence. That is stunning. It's a lovely step inside. Manages to get just enough to the right and fires it bottom left. That is a stunning goal. And I guarantee we don't see the replay. Oh, maybe not. It's... It, Oh, we, they, they tease us with that replay. I really wish that we do get to see it other than at the end of the game to him again. He sits deep, but then he really pushes up. What was his stamina, actually? Oh, we're not going to get the ball off. He manages to do enough and wins the free kick. I can't really argue there. We don't have it on foot, but his stamina, 80. So, to be honest, he should be able to do a, a job in the middle. I, most, I was going to say, did I get a yellow card? No, he did. Thank God. I was going to say, I was like, I didn't, I didn't foul. Not at all. Mario again picking the ball up. A little bit of dribbling. Finds it on the inside. A little one more. One more again if we can. He finds him here. He's going to pretend he's going to go the other way. Oh, we're going to get caught here. Tezzy's doing what he can. And yeah, okay, fair enough. Into Mario. I feel like this guy has had an absolute enough. As he goes for the handball, it's not enough. Back out to Mario. He's great on this counter here. Really quick on that acceleration. Dribbling's exquisite. Gets the pass off. Thought he might have been offside. And unfortunately he was. Oh, I see what he's gone and done. So there's a Neymar on the pitch, which is absolutely brilliant. So if we do win this now, even better for us. He's gone and made some subs. Let's just have a quick look and see who he's brought on. As I saw Neymar straight away. Who else have we got? Surely a defender. Dan Juma's on. Yilmaz is on. Did I, I did see a name. Oh, okay, he's got five subs. Of course you can. So he's got Lozano on. Gakpo's obviously already on. Did, did I see a Neymar? Or did I see a Yilmaz and think it was Neymar? Maybe not. So he's got a sub there. So he's only brought, has he only brought two on? Didn't Dan Juma and Yilmaz? I don't know why I thought I saw Neymar somewhere. <laughs> Mario, I'm seeing that ball. I can see that pass a mile off. Gonna let it run through. Neres is gonna try and play on it. Uh, and we get stuck. Oh, Mario, that is just disgusting. I feel like in this mid, he has just been an absolute tank the whole way. As we find the ball, there's no way he gets a brace. There is no way he gets a brace, unfortunately. Mario, again, has got to have that first touch of dreams. It's a solid ball into the striker. It's got to go for that outside of the box if we can now. Now we're one up. We're getting a bit comfortable. We're getting a little bit cocky at times. But you never know. Sometimes you can just get it as he knows we're looking for that outside of the box. Can Mario go for the finesse? It's a bit darting, but I weren't, weren't truly confident with it. All you've got to do is watch the air to Vizzy player. I don't care if Dan Juma scores. I don't matter about the win. All I need to know is this guy has not scored with an air to Vizzy player. Dutch players does not mean anything in the managerial masterpiece. So he can score all day long with Dan Juma. And that's absolutely fine. He'll get the eight wins. He'll get a, a record for that if he wants. But I know we're doing this properly. Mario going a bit quiet in this second half. We're looking for that through ball though. Gone a little bit tasty with it. He does He does seem to have gone a bit quiet. Obviously, 82nd minute, I'm expecting him to, to kind of be a little bit drained of stamina, as obviously we've used him a lot more than you would do in a natural game because we are searching for him. We're trying to see what he's all about. He's passing up and down the pitch. As we see here, we get him all the way up. A little bit of a dribble. Oh, we got caught on the inside. I thought he might have fell for it fully. So as we see in this, we're going to do a quick one as we're on footwiz. There, there isn't too much to go by here. But in terms of the Portuguese league, he has put himself as the highest rated non-hero slash icon Portuguese player in this Portuguese league. 85 rated. He's going to help you out with Abel Ruiz as well as all of the other SBC uh, objectives that you can do today coming in relatively cheap an 82 rated team one portuguese player required and an 84 rated team with one team in a week required the first team in a week requirement we've had all year it's not going to affect massive price because it's one in form for an 84 rated team and to be honest the, there's not a massive requirement for this card. If you don't want him, you don't have to do him. He's not major league. He's not necessarily somebody who's going to change your main team. So he is going to be just 
if you are a collector, if you just fancy doing him, or obviously you want him for the Portuguese objectives. In terms of his card, I think he's absolutely stunning for this objective as well. Not going to change too many main teams. Maybe could be a super sub, depending on the level of team. I feel like the, the, the anchor would be nicer if it managed to get the defending and physicals up to that 80, as we've got really good passing and dribbling on him. Shooting's not bad with a few standout stats there, and he has got relatively decent pace, but obviously he is controlled as well, so you want him more in that box-to-box -box than in the defense or the attack. So overall, for me, I think the SBC probably coming in one more that expensive than I'd expect it to. I think the 84 with an inform would be fine. I, I know the 82 rated team is only going to be, say, 10k because 900 per card or 700 per card, but I do think it's just that little bit extra i don't think you need it the packs back as well a small mixed player pack and a gold pack i feel like you could have definitely pushed that up to a premium gold just some extra thoughts but overall a nice card 10 out of 10 for gonna help you with a portuguese objective especially like i said you may not have chosen the seal the season objective card as portuguese you've not done either of the squad foundations yet so it's going to be a nice one to add a special straight into your team especially when there's only one other in form or special that you can get straight away and that is fernandez another center mid so let me know down below if you are going to be completing Marquin Marquinhos <laughs> Mario and also check out the videos on the left if you want to see some more bangers. Bath Nat, like and subscribe. Peace.